So, here we are, a brand new IGTV show. It's going to be Hugh talking with different people all over uh, the world, talking about what it's like coming down from this uh, virus situation. Um, hopefully that we are winding down for this now, we can get back to normal life. So the first guest I have today is the extraordinary, the amazing, the one and only, unique and amazing Daniel Ahan. That's my kid right there. It's my youngest son, Daniel. And um, Daniel's going to be telling us about what life is like right now in Dublin um, as things are, are winding down, we hope. And Daniel's going to be telling us about the five uh, phases they're going through there in Ireland as they're hopefully winding down. Um, towards hopefully towards August, right? So, Daniel, I'm going to get you just to introduce yourself a little bit, tell people how old you are, what uh, level you're at in school, and all that kind of a thing. So, the one and only DL. Hello, <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you for that introduction. Um, hello to um, the Hugh Nation, I guess. <laughs> um, all of Hugh's fans watching this, um, I'm Daniel, uh, his son, as he said. Uh, 15 years of age. Um, I go to school in Cabin Teeley, which is in Dublin, uh, Dublin, Ireland. And um, I'm in third year. And um, obviously, you know, some of you Americans might be watching this video and thinking, did he say third year? <laughs> what, what, what's that? But um, <laughs> listen, it's, uh, it's basically, it's the start of high school for uh, if I was in America, it's that sort of yeah. one of those years. And, and so tell us, so, so what is this five phases that we're, that, that you're doing in, in Ireland at the moment to kind of come down, hopefully back to some kind of normalcy from the COVID-19? What's happening there? Yeah, so um, uh, I'd say a week ago now, um, our Taoiseach, the override Kirk came out and said, look, okay, so our plan is going forward going to do five phases to reopen Ireland um, pretty simple so next week six days from now uh, is going to be the start of the first phase and that is going to be um, reopening some gardening stores maybe reopening certain retailers as long as social distancing can be maintained so what's the feeling of people there about the whole experience when the news came out about the five phases, obviously this is this is this is a global pandemic. This is not something that's gonna gonna just end overnight. So I think when I saw the phase five five phases, especially for myself, like from my personal view, um, I thought it was I thought it was good news. I thought um, you know they're slowly opening things back up, and if if we do get the country back back and running around August September, then I would be I would be happy. Now just to to switch gears here for a second, because uh, Daniel is is an avid football player. He plays for a local team. He's very very knowledgeable about all things um, football. I think he'd make a, a fantastic commentator uh, uh, um, after he's uh, finished playing uh, football. I think he's going to be excellent to 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 do that and. Um, uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about football, what they say soccer in America. So, so tell us what's it like being such someone who's so passionate about football. I know you exercise, go to the gym a lot, and so you've had to kind of uh, uh, adapt your schedule and, and your 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 um, your love for football. So to tell us what's it like um, for you, you know, trying to deal with this situation, and being wanting to be out there kicking the ball around and playing with your team. Like obviously, I have um, a back garden that I can play football in by myself, obviously no one else, you know, my grandma isn't going, going to put a pair of football boots on and play with me, <laughs> but, um, so I can, I can play in a little small space, but what the thing is, I do, I don't like it compared to, you know, I miss being on the football pitch, training properly, training with my friends. Do you think, do you think this is going to, do you think people are we're going to be better off after this? Do you think people are going to be you know, do you think we're going into a different space? Do you think after all this, or do you, or do you think people will just go back to the way it was before? Once you've gone through like a time like this, um, you know, being away from your mates, being away from your normal daily lives, mm -hmm. I think to be able to be able once you once you get back to that, you you know, once you once you have something taken away from you, you start to realize that was that was a really important part of my life. You know, yeah. like I really cherish that. Um, so I think once once we do get it back, I think it will be something that we do cherish that bit more. You know, it's something because 
you know, the little things that we have in our daily lives, we did seem to take for granted. And I think after we've been through this, we won't be, we won't be taking too much for granted. Yeah, I think you're right. And so, um, and, and Daniel, I appreciate you you being the the first uh, person on on the show here because uh, I just think it's interesting for people to see what's happening and uh, uh, outside of, of of their town or city or country. Um, so thank you for for giving us your perspective. And now I'm gonna before I go out here, Daniel and I have not rehearsed this, so we're, we're, I'm just gonna kind of do a little thing here at the end. <laughs> Let's see what what Daniel does. So I just want to say, Daniel, I got nothing but love for you. It was an honor to be here with this amazing young man, um, an honor to be your dad, an honor to have you here uh, in, in this show. So um, I have nothing but love for you, Daniel. I have nothing but love for all my people out there. I send all that love to you. Boom. <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted me to do a spiritual tarot card reading. Oh. <laughs> 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 hashtag no, well I do well I do hashtag love is everything it, is that it. what you want you can do anything you want there's, there's no script there's no rules <laughs> listen thanks thanks for having me guys boom <laughs> <laughs>